Hi team, this is Chris Abram from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 10 on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. This is an exam for teachers in Florida that are preparing to take their teacher certification exams. This is a great problem as an introduction to probability, which is our core concept, and linked probability, when we have multiple events happening and we're trying to find out the probability that those events happen in that exact order. So let's look at this problem. It goes something like this. A coin is flipped three times. What is the probability of getting three tails in a row? Well, whenever it's asking for a set of events happening in a specific order, meaning they want to know what the probability is that the first time you roll this dice, I mean this coin, you get a tail, and the second time you do it, you get another tail, and the third time you do it, you get a tail. That's three tails in a row and each one of these is a is a separate flip so this would be we consider this event one event one two and three whenever you have this you have something called linked probability because we're looking for a specific order in uh, the events so what you have to do is you have to find the probability for each flip so this would be flip one this is flip two and this is flip three now Simple probability just means you look at um, you look at the probability of a specific event happening. So in this in this first in this first flip of the coin, it could be two things, and only one of them is the tail. So there's a one uh, one half or fifty percent chance it could land on tails. Now let's look at uh, flip two. Well, there's a possibility that of four different outcomes depending on if it if it was uh, heads or tails or however it may land. So what we're going to do is we're going to think about, well, out of the four, two could be tails. So it's still going to be, you know, one half or two over four. Fifty percent chance that it could be tails. And the same thing for the third one. We count up all the possible outcomes, which would be eight total possible outcomes. But out of that eight, one, two, three, four could be tails. So really it's a 50-50 shot that it could be tails on the third one. So each event has its own probability. 50% chance that it's going to land on tails. To find out the probability of these three events happening in this specific order, tails, 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 I multiply out these prob individual probabilities. So that would be one half times one half times one half. And now this goes back to reviewing your um, your core math on how to multiply fractions. Multiplying fractions, so to multiply the bottoms, 2 times 2 times 2 gets you 8. And multiply the numerators, the tops, 1 times 1 times 1 gets you 1. So the probability of three tails in a row is 1 eighth. Um, sometimes you see probability questions come up. They don't use this type of diagram. They just give you a scenario, like for example, uh, let's say we're talking about a sports team and we said that your sports team, uh, your volleyball team, wins 75% of the time. That's the amount of games that you win, probably the likelihood that you're going to win the game. And the likelihood that you're going to lose the game is 25%. And then I might ask you a question like, well, what is the likelihood if your team goes to the championship, what's the likelihood that you win the first two games and then sadly you lose the last game? Let's just imagine that, okay? Well, the likelihood of winning is 75%, or we could say 3 fourths. So it'd be 3 fourths here and 3 fourths here because nothing's changed. It's still 3 fourths chance that it's going to be this way. And then the likelihood of losing the last one is 1 fourth. But the likelihood of winning the first two and losing the last one would be the product of all these probabilities. So in this case here, it would be 3 times 3 times 3, which would get you to uh, 9. And 4 times 4 is 16, times the 4 is 64. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just stop there with this uh, discussion on probability and link probability. Look at this problem, um, work through it so that you, you can find the probability of a given event, and you could also apply link probability when you're asked to find out the specific order of a series of events. All right? Okay, team, I hope you found this video helpful. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.
Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful. Thank you.